Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Rooster here in Tennessee looking at a little mobile amp. This is a uh, RC-180. I've never seen one of these before, uh, but actually a pretty cool little amp. I've already tested it out before the video here. Uh, we're going to run the uh, Uniden 66 into it, doing about 35 to 38 watts peak. Uh, everything works on this amp as far as I can tell. We'll demonstrate everything. Uh, three position switch here at the beginning. Uh, up position, it's on high. Uh, down position on low in the middle it's off then you have your uh, receive preamp light works on it and then you have a sideband delay which also actually functions all the lights work everything functions on it um, this thing is really cool i like it um, turn everything off show the inside of it then we'll turn everything back on uh, really clean on the inside uh, let's see if you can see that transistor there 95, 9320 MRF 455s in here, two MRF 455s, and uh, it's stout. So you could put 1446s in it if you ever have an issue, but uh, the 455s are, are working really good in here. And uh, the output on this amp, man, I think it's going to be hard to beat. Uh, really comparable to my little smooth 160 that I've been running in my mobile there. And if I didn't have that little smooth 160, I would probably keep this just to have a uh, amp in that power range. High and low on it. Uh, let's turn everything on here. We'll go to low first. Uh, receive preamp works. Let's see if we can test that. Okay, that's dummy load to dummy load with the preamp on. Let's turn the preamp off. So the preamp works great. It goes from a uh, nine pounds uh, with it off and then turn it back on again just to show you. Almost 30 with it on. And again, we're just testing dummy load to dummy load there. So preamp works good. We've already shown the sideband delay to work good. Uh, now we've got, uh, got it on low power. Let's check average and peak. This is at 14.5 volts with about 35 watts going in. Uh, 500 watt slug, middle scale, we're on low power, we're on peak power. Audio, 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 audio. Drawing about 15 amps, audio, 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 audio. <clears throat> Doing about 200 watts peak. Let's go to average on low. Audio, 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 about 75 or 80 watts average. Audio. Now, what we're going to do, just come over here to high. We're still on average power. Audio. 100 watts average. Key in 50. Audio. Audio. 95 to 100 watts average, no problem. And now we'll just go to peak. Middle scale still. Audio, 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 audio. About 240. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, 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 audio. All right. That's it, guys. Uh, this one's for sale. Nice budget amp for somebody. Um, if you're interested in it, shoot me a text. Uh, make somebody a pretty good deal on this thing. Yes, it's got some styrofoam stuff on the cover where they've had it mounted to something. Cover doesn't look the best on it, but all the screws are there. On the inside, it's really clean, as you can see. Um, nothing crazy going on with it. And everything works on it good. Uh, no issues with this amp at all. Let's see what it draws on high. Audio, audio, audio. Showing about 19 amps. Hello, 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 hello. About 19 amps what it's drawing on high at a 14.5 volts. Uh, could put you a little fan on here, but I, I don't have a fan on my little smooth 160, and it does fine. MRF 455, real tough transistor. Um, pretty close, if not completely interchangeable with a 1446. Pretty close. Uh, people drop them in and don't change anything, and they work okay, but uh, that's all up to you. There it is, guys. Turn this thing off and wrap this video up. 
Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. RC 180. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.